Three signs she is the girl that you should marry. Now this is beautiful Sydney CBD. Look at this. Nice, warm, sunny, blue sky. Beautiful. Three signs she's the girl that you should marry. Number one. Number one. It takes a long time for her to fall in love with you or just fall for you or get in attached to you. Now, the reason why you don't want to be marrying a girl that fell in love with you super fast because that is technically impossible. Or she has a mental illness. If a girl falls in love with you too soon, too fast, there's something wrong with her. She should have a balanced lifestyle where she's got some friends and family, where she has friends that she's had for a very long time and be a good, balanced, I would say, uh, person who takes a while to get to know people and doesn't necessarily trust anybody that she just meets really fast. She has to get to know you. And part of it is, if she has got to know you and then she's decided or she has just organically started to fall for you, then you know that she's made the decision and it is real. It takes time, it takes time. And this is one of the most important things, you can't rush this. So that means you need to be seeing her for quite a while before she falls for you. Otherwise, she could be damaged, she could have some sort of a mental illness, and that's gonna put you at major risk. So even if you've been with her for quite a few years now and you're considering marrying her, did you, did she fall in love too fast? Big question. Two, uh, she likes you and not your things. Obviously, you know, people talk about gold diggers, but it's not just be, her being a gold digger that we're trying to avoid here. It is, let's just say, early on in the relationship, you start dating, she likes your qualifications. She likes your career, your CEO, or you're a doctor, or you're, uh, you happen to be a profession that her or her family or someone thought was pretty cool and somehow in her mind she decided I'm going you know those girls that say they're going to marry a doctor they are toxic scumbags you want to avoid them at all all costs but if she gets to know you over time and she falls for you not your profession that's better right you don't want her falling for your profession you're a CEO or whatever and uh, she she likes to tell her friends that, that her boyfriend's a CEO or a doctor. Who knows, you might even be a plumber. You might be a lawyer. It doesn't have to be right at the top echelon, uh, highly valuable skill or whatever. Uh, she might just like something about you. You might be a football player, as a professional football player. You might not be even very successful, but in her mind, that's the type of guy that she wanted to get. That's a girl that you should avoid. You should never marry a girl that has preconceptions of, of who you are. Also, uh, and end is more attached to who you are or what you have more than anything else. You should avoid that at all costs. Uh, and obviously, if you're driving a Ferrari and she likes your Ferrari more than you, or she likes your house, or she likes your bank account, well, obviously uh, but the, the funny thing is you might it might not be that obvious to you that's the thing a lot of guys they flash their money around way too soon and then they find out that um, they have uh, accidentally fallen for a gold digger and they were leading with the cash so that's a problem as well the second uh, the, the second part of two is that um, you resolve arguments relatively fast. It's a very organic and smooth process to uh, resolve all forms of arguments. You're not holding any baggage. If there's anything, 
any arguments that you still remember and there's any sort of unresolved issues at all no matter how small they may be does she hold any sort of a grudge against you or do you hold any sort of a grudge against her no matter how small that might be you that's a major issue that's something that you need to be aware of that she and you may not be compatible because those small little disagreements that are unresolved they will grow over time uh, and they will get to the point where they are uh, they, they can just build up to the point where they can destroy your relationship uh, and if you have not if you have unresolved issues try to resolve them if possible if you're watching this video but if there's something niggling in the background and with her as well whatever it is no matter how small it is it will become highlighted later on when you decide to marry her or get into a serious relationship with her it will then boil over and get out of control and it will destroy your marriage keep that in mind too three three number three you are not jealous of her in any way and she's not jealous of you in any way you are not worried or fearful that one day she's going to sleep with the neighbor there's no fear in your mind that she's going to cheat on you or leave you or anything like that and the same in return to some extent uh, if she's a little bit fearful with you that could also highlight that she could have some sort of an issue herself keep that in mind now you should never fear that she is going to ever leave you for another guy there shouldn't be any jealousy at all and there shouldn't be any coming from her either uh, there should be 100% trust now the, the, the second part of number three is are you naive do you have experience with women and are you aware enough to notice the signs that you should be jealous because if you are naive which I would say is the you know the majority of men on planet earth uh, if you're aware enough then that should be fine but if you are not aware enough and maybe you're not aware that you're not aware enough and you're not jealous and you, you're naive then that's going to spell a lot of trouble for you you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble if you end up getting to a serious relationship or even marrying this woman same kind of in, is uh in in the in reverse as well it's kind of the same issue as well now these are kind of my my top three uh we can go in depth but for a YouTube video I think this is enough so these are my top three uh, you should keep an eye out for these three signs that uh, you are compatible and she is the one that you should marry uh, now I'll leave it at that maybe I'll do a longer one later on and um, now I'll leave it at that I'll see you guys in the next video